Namco presents the next episode of Pick Up Playtest here on the Teatron Plays Games YouTube channel. No, not really. I'm not sponsored by Namco. Although, if y'all are interested, feel free to reach out and let me know. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be an episode. Welcome to an episode where I'm playing a game where I don't even know if I should be trying this because I know for a fact that I am pretty awful at at one-on-one -on -one fighting games. But yet here I am adding this to my pickup playtest playlist here on YouTube where I'm going to try my best to play to some extent air quotes play <laughs> a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. But not just any one-on-one -on -one fighting game. The second installment in one of the more iconic arguably, one-on-one -on -one fighting series, Tekken. Yes, this is Tekken 2 for PlayStation 1. Look at all these polygonal models and all of this FMV glory. Don't you just love this era of gaming in terms of just, like, the production value? It's just... Oh, man. It's something else entirely. But yeah, you know what else is also something else entirely? My skill set when it comes to this type of genre of game. Uh... This is basically just going to be however long this video goes of me basically embarrassing myself. Get ready for lots of I don't know what's going on. Get ready for lots of button clacking as I try my magnanimous best to try to make something happen in terms of throwing out moves and stuff. It's going to be great. We got arcade versus team battle, time attack, survival, practice, and of course options. They're a play the game for me option so I can just kick back and be good no matter what buttons I press? No. <laughs> of course not. I think I'm just going to start off in practice mode just sort of like getting a feel for how fighters even uh, control, I guess. One of the only characters I know off the top of my head, I know Soul Calibur more than I know Tekken, but Heihachi makes a crossover cameo appearance in one of the... Uh, in one of the um, Soul Calibur games. Soul Calibur 2 for PlayStation 2. I actually played the GameCube version of Soul Calibur 2 as one of my really early episodes of Pickup Playtest. So if you want to me if you want to see me play a one-on-one -on -one fighting game I'm a little bit more confident in, feel free to check that one out. But no, this is gonna be this is probably gonna be a complete train wreck, just so y'all know. Um <laughs> Is is I've I think I've done this in the past where I'm literally you're just gonna hear me mash buttons pretty much this entire video just so y'all know. In fact, I've probably done this in the Soul Calibur video, but how many of y'all like I've asked this probably already, but how many of y'all out there are like me and just button mash your way through fighting games? Is that is that still a viable option in today's climate, or is it seriously just going to get your butt whooped at higher levels. And I'm pretty sure the answer is the latter. It's gonna just get your butt whooped at higher levels. But for me, I want to see if I just will, you know, mess with a few characters here and then maybe I'll get, maybe I'll be able to beat one level of arcade mode. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, if y'all are new to this series, uh, Pick Up Playtest is a show where I just like to show off games that I have in my collection. But I also like to strike up conversations and y'all are pretty awesome and contribute quite a bit in terms of the conversations and the comments and stuff, and I really appreciate that. So yeah, let me know what uh, what y'all are thinking about Tekken. Is this uh, is this a game that you think is awesome? The series in general, do you have a lot of nostalgia for it? Do you have no nostalgia for it? Is that 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 I basically just rub the dude's head and then crack his neck unexpectedly? Like what kind of throw move is that anyway? But yeah, are you guys experts? Like, let me just... Where's my command list? Yeah, let's see, like... So... De uh, left, up, up, Demon Slayer. Left, left, up. Flash, punch, combo. Demon, uppercut. Right, right, up. Duh, duh, duh. Oh, I think I did the... I think I did the demon uppercut correctly. Wow, no kidding. I can do some of these commands. Let me do... Let me do, like, uh... Left, left, up. So left, le left, left, up. I think I'm, like, knocking him too far away so the combo can't complete. Of course. Let's try something else. Uh, when rising, use those. Right, right for a tsunami kick. 
Um, forward, circle, half circle, forward. Is that how I'm doing? It's really hard to do circles on a D-pad or half circles on a D-pad. I don't think I'm doing it right, maybe. Some of these punches look different from others, so I feel like some of them are correct while others are not. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, um, feel free to converse with me about Tekken or fighting games in general. Where does your, where do y'all's um, expertise on this type of game begin and end? Is he seriously not going to turn around and even, he's basically just going to turn his back to me? What is going on, dude? Turn around and fight me! <laughs> anyway, let's try some other characters, I guess. Hey, Hachi's the only one I know by name, so let's try, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know, let's try Nina, and we'll fight King, I guess. I don't know. Nina versus King. I have no idea what I'm doing, still. So, what is, what is King? Is he like a, is he a human, or is he like a human-tiger hybrid? What am I fighting against here? I love that throw move way more than whatever the heck Heihachi was doing. <laughs> That's actually... What Nina has here is actually a throw move, in my opinion. That is that is also actually a throw move. Whenever I did the throws as Heihachi, he just sort of said, like, there, 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 fella, and then cracked his neck and he just fell to the ground. But, I don't know. Hup. Boom! And look at that, it was halfway, halfway across the room. Dash forward. Let me do the half circle forward. Let me see what your some of your commands are. See, one of the biggest things about one-on-one -on -one fighters is, of course, memorizing your character's command list. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, it sort of takes me out of the game a bit. Maybe that just maybe just because I'm a scrub that needs to get good. But <laughs> for me, I feel like I would have a lot less like like. In Smash Bros, I have, like, four different mains, you know, because a lot of them are pretty easy to learn. But, like, I feel like when I, if I was to get good, quote-unquote, at a one-on-one -on -one fighter like this, I'd probably have to pick one main and just memorize every single one of these commands and just optimize using it to the best of my ability, you know what I'm saying? Backhand slap, stay, stand close, forward circle, and then those two buttons. Let me try that. Forward circle and those two buttons. Ooh, clean hit, it said. Did I do it right? Forward circle. Forward circle. Well, I did something right. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say I did it okay. There's a down in the middle of that one. Jail Crusher is so it's like the right and then up and then down and then this. See And most of the time I honestly can't even tell if I'm doing it right. Maybe there's a mode that shows me exactly what move I'm doing and when that I'm just not activating properly. Huh. Throw! When, when in doubt, just throw and you can get him as far away from you as possible. <laughs> nice tie, dude, by the way. He's like, so he's dressed up. This, this king dude is so, like, dressed all formally for a freaking scrum down. Anyway. Let's do one more practice round with a couple of random characters, and then I'll try my best to fail miserably at the campaign mode. And by try to fail, I'm pretty sure I will not have to try to fail. I assure you of that. It really, I think, will become an endurance round of how much you know, of this video y'all want to watch um, before you give up on just how bad I am at certain fighting games, man. I have certain conversations with people on my... Um, like I said, Soul Calibur 2 video that said, like, they're kind of like me, where their skill set in fighting games begins and ends at platformer, platform fighters like Smash Bros, and frankly, I'm the same way. So this Jack 2 character I'm fighting as kind of look, he kind of reminds me of, like, a Terminator, almost. Any of y'all who know a lot about Tekken lore and want to tell me about who I'm fighting as and... Who's your favorite character and stuff? The pros out there, if, if you can find it in your heart to not completely make fun of how bad I am at this game, <laughs> if you could maybe share some of your insight in the comments, uh, that would be awesome. In between giggling at 
how inexperienced I am, of course, but, you know. <laughs> <sighs> Fighting games, I swear. They are an absolute blast to watch. When, when people know what they're doing in these types of games, I can't get enough of watching it, dude. I've watched, I've watched high-level tournament play in, like, infamous... Uh, or not infamous, what, what's that game worth the DC characters? Um, Injustice, that's what it's called, yeah. Injustice, which is kind of like a Mortal Kombat clone, but just with DC characters. Yeah, like, I've been watching, high, I've watched high-level play of that, and I could just get transfixed for hours watching people absolutely wreck each other in that game, but me achieving that type of uh, gameplay, yeah, that would take, a, I don't know, more time than I'm willing to devote to any one game, I can assure you of that. Okay, so just left, left, left is jackhammer. Let's try that. Left, left, left. Ooh, okay, so it's a nice, decently swift three-hit combo for being a dude made of metal, I suppose. Double hammer. So these two back-to-back. -back. Ooh, okay, I actually think I'm doing that run, that one right, kind of. It's really, it's really awkward to hit, it's really awkward to hit those two buttons at the exact same time? I feel like it's actually more comfortable for me to use my middle and index finger to pull that one off, but I guess I did it. So far, I've done more of Jack 2's command list than probably either of those other ones. Nina or Heihachi. Go figure. Um, killing Uppercut. Megaton Blast. Whatever that is. What, what, what are... So some of these... Um, some of these are colored in yellow arrows while some of them are not. What does that mean? Anybody who knows, please let me know. Does it mean, like, I have to double tap, or does that mean I have to run? Like, what's going on there? Whoa, what is this? Just down and left, and then blast that button a bunch of times. He was just sort of... Oh, this is what that is, I guess. That... that, that. Oh, interesting. So let me try to get closer, and then bump, 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 and then BAM! Okay, so it kind of works. Again, I feel like sometimes my attacks just bump enemies right out of my uh, range, but yeah. Anyway, this is basically just mess with fighting game characters and then fail at arcade mode the the episode. <laughs> Pick up playtest. Hope you all don't mind, but yeah. The very formula of this game is trying a whole bunch of of random games from my collection, whether I know about them and know of them and know how to play them or not. So, <laughs> a beautiful mix. I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm gonna stick with Jack 2 here, and we're gonna... I think we're just gonna go to the, um, arcade mode and see how it goes. Oops. I'm pressing buttons. I'm trying to back out. Is it circled? Or... Oh, I got a different version of Jack 2 here. That's interesting. He's he does he doesn't this version I'm playing as now doesn't look nearly as Terminator-esque. Very curious indeed. I wonder if there's an actual way to like make that happen or or if it's just because I'm fighting as uh, there was I'm just like fighting a, a version of Jack 2. Will you stop pressing triangle? I wanted to press circle. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Let me actually try to back out. Nope, circle doesn't even work. So how do I get back to the main menu? How, indeed. Uh, reset is just gonna fix the battle again. Oh no, reset! This resets to the main menu. That's weird. I would s wouldn't call that option reset, Tekken 2. But, whatever, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Meh, 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 I'm just complaining now. Let's go to arcade mode. And like I said, I'm going to stick with Jack 2 for now. Hey, I have a little bit of experience fighting against King, so maybe stage 1 won't be a complete debacle. Look, there's actually health bars in this game that I have to try and deplete. Can you believe it? <laughs> okay, is this just because it's stage 1? Or is he seriously that pathetic in arcade mode? There's no way I'm going to do that good. There's no way I'm going to be consistently... I'm going to try that jackhammer thing. Yeah, and then boom! Perfect! I got a perfect! No way. The game is just... That's just got to be stage one. That's just got to be because it's stage one. Don't get excited, T-Trom. 
Don't get in over your head. See, look, you just ducked your thing. What am I doing here? Come on. Jackhammer. Boom. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna try to do a throw move now. Or not. How about we don't do that? Wow. I can't believe I'm doing at least this decently. I also don't know how my punches are able to hurt a dude with a sword in, you know, like, knight armor, basically. Like, I don't really know how that's even possible. Come on, throw move! Hey, a body slam was my throw move. I can't believe I just did two stages back-to-back. -back. Did I seriously just spend the first, like, ten minutes talking about how bad arcade mode was going to go, and then I just, like, two-owed the first two stages? Come on. When is this going to crumble? Just, is it now? Is it now? Is she going to even let me get a move in? <laughs> Ooh, I actually uh, counterattacked. Not, not bad. All right. Ooh. Maybe it's because I picked a super OP character. <laughs> I bet you I bet you some people that like if they think Jack 2 is super OP, they're just like, "Oh, well, of course you did well." Because you're playing as one of the most broken characters in all of PlayStation 1 fighting game history. Cuz that's certainly what it feels like to me right now because I feel like I should really be... <laughs> nice posing. I really feel like I should be failing a lot more right now. That might have been right there. Might have been one of the first times any of my opponents actually blocked... Do you hear me struggling to find the words? I legitimately don't understand. Not only do my attacks hit like a freight train, but my opponents aren't blocking a whole heck of a lot of them, and I'm able to just combo unexpectedly easily. How did I block that? I actually blocked an attack. Whoa, okay. I finally got defeated. I was kind of expecting that like five minutes ago, but you lose. <laughs> I love the voiceover. Oh yeah, it's a, so we both won one. Come on, try that jackhammer combo. Don't fail me. Yo! Oh! Hey, I still perfect. He blocked my jackhammer finisher, and then, and then I finished it off. So, so there you go. It took till stage four to get my first defeat. So you can see the the cracks are starting to form. So let me see if this is where my playthrough ends. <laughs> uh, you know, for PlayStation One standards, I kind of like that background. Kind of reminds me of a, a nice painting you'd see in a museum or something, I don't know. Very idyllic. Kind of in direct opposition to how unpeaceful it is to be fighting near a peaceful hillside village, but, you know, whatever. Also, yes, I very much definitely did lose game. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh boy, okay, um... Are you supposed to push, like, in fighting games like this, you're supposed to, I believe, right? At least in Street Fighter, oh boy. <laughs> this is where things are going to get rough. I think you're supposed to push in the opposite direction, right? To guard? But that doesn't feel like it's working for me. Um, unless, unless it is and I just can't tell. Ugh, I wish I could block, see, I wish I could block her, like, windmill kick like that. Congratulations, T-Trom. You've now officially found out what point in this game where the freaking button mashing will not get you... will not get you any further. Oh, brother. Okay. I'm gonna try just, like, pushing back and down and see if I block anything. So I'm just gonna, like, block back down. <laughs> I love this animation! Okay, see, it's not working, so I don't know how to guard in this game. Is it, is it like the bumpers or something? Or bleh, bumpers? There are no bumpers on a PS1 controller. What am I talking about? I'm just, I get so used to calling the triggers the those buttons the triggers and stuff like L1, R2. Like what am I, what am I supposed to press? Don't! Oh, I might win! I might win! I might win! Come on, do the jackhammer! Oh. 
Do anything! Do anything useful! <laughs> Make something happen! In a desperate attempt to win. Alright, I'll try again. One more time and then I'll maybe just switch to a different character. And, uh, maybe prove... If I switch to a different character, maybe I'll prove that the only reason I got through the first four stages was because I am playing as this guy. Who, for whatever reason, is just completely over-the-top strong. Yeah, my button mashing has completely failed me here at stage 5. It is completely and utterly ineffective. <laughs> Apparently, I have to... Stage 5 of arcade mode is when I have to start learning how to actually play Tekken 2. <laughs> when I do like my throw combo there, throw hit buttons, sometimes I just flop in front of her. I don't actually grab her or anything. I just flop in front of her and expect that to do any sort of useful damage. What is that all about? Oh, I don't want to continue. Yes, game over. Let me just try again. Arcade mode, who should we play as this time? I also liked playing as Nina, so we'll play as Nina. Oh boy, and I'm playing against the character I just played as, and as we can see, he hits he hits so freaking hard, so am I screwed? Or can I just throw him like a ragdoll? And he won't do anything about it. Are you even going to block any of my attacks? Okay, I guess I can just confirm that the first few stages are just button masher friendly, and then... The game does basically just flip the switch around stage five or so, and says, if all you're doing is button mashing, well then, good luck actually beating the rest of this arcade mode. What are you doing? What kind of move was that? Oh, you do know how to guard. You do know how to guard, Jack, too. Oh, pfft. How did that deplete? That was like half my health bar, dude. Yeah, game. I can see that. Oh boy. What was that? I managed to do some crazy attack that took off like three quarters, I think, of his health. Almost the entire thing. No, just get it in. One more attack, quick. Yes. He had me on the ropes. And I just barely made that work. Cool. <laughs> I brute forced my way to stage two. <laughs> He's ducking everything. Stop doing that. Oh boy. By the way, um, if you've made it this far into the video, have your ears been um, able to handle the amount of button mashing that you're probably hearing blasting into my microphone this particular episode? I'm sure it's just a cacophony of glory. <laughs> Alright, can confirm I'm definitely having a rougher time playing as Nina. <laughs> Jack 2 was able to just steamroll through some of those guys and I genuinely was not expecting expecting to do so well. I think I was just playing as a hard-hitting character. Alright, forward circle, uh do a throw move, hopefully. Throw. Oh, I think I saw her like go for the grab and I think she whiffed because I was too far away. Yeah. Fine, it was my bad, I was too far away. <laughs> you gotta love that voiceover in fighting games, like, just like, after you suffer a, an incre incredibly crushing and humiliating defeat, the game has to double down and be like, you lose. It's like, mm-hmm. Anything else you'd like to add? Would you like to say, I suck while I'm at it, you know, while you're at it, game? Like, please. That kind of reminds me of, if y'all have seen my episode of Pickup Playtest on Go Figure, a different PS1 game, of Cool Borders 2. I, um... That game totally tells you you suck, basically, when you're doing pretty poor. Like, you, if, 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 if you think that's gnarly, you need some school in or something or whatever, and totally makes you feel like a, an idiot for not knowing, like, the button combos to make, to do, like, tricks as you're snowboarding down the slopes and stuff. But, uh, yeah. I still have had fun with that, and I'm still having fun with this, even though I'm pretty disastrous at fighting games. 
maybe these are some of the videos I still need to make where, like, it's still worth trying some of the games that you collect, right? It's better to try some of the games that you collect instead of letting them just sit there on the shelf and being like, wow, what a trophy. Even if I'm absolutely incalculably horrible at a video game. <laughs> At least I gave it some sort of effort. Some of these moves in this game, I swear, just take off like a third of your health bar with little to no effort. It is bizarre. Alright. Three strikes and I'm out. Three attempts of, you know, best two out of three, or however I'm doing this. Let's see if I can get to stage three as Nina. Maybe. Okay, go. Go, go, go! Do something, T-Trom! I keep trying to rely on grabs for my final hit, and as you can see, I keep whiffing on the grab, and when that happens, you leave yourself extremely vulnerable. Alright, please tell me that there's people in my audience right now that are um, better at this game than I am. If, if you're still here, frankly. Um, which I wouldn't blame you if you're not. But, if you're still watching this late into the video, um, let me know what your experience with Tekken is. I want to, potentially, if I can, hear from people who are, yes, way, way better um, at this game than I am. <laughs> what is the latest entry in the Tekken series, anyway? Is it... Is it seven, or am I just that far out of the loop that I don't even know anymore? I just straight up. I know. I know this game has a lot of. Hey, I actually beat him! Hooray! I'm on to stage three. I know this game has a lot of entries, um, like Street Fighter does and stuff. But um, yeah, I actually don't know what the most recent one is. Moreover, are there anybody? Is there anybody out there who has who does one-on-one -on -one fighting tournaments regularly and do older games, do older versions of games like this? Like I know I have a pretty good feeling that older versions of Street Fighter make it into you know um, different fighting game tournaments around the world and such. But like, what about Tekken? Does Tekken get its older games like Tekken Two here represented in? tournaments, or is it sort of like a niche thing that you only see it like, you know, tournaments ran at your local library or something? <laughs> or, or is that not a thing? Or is that not a thing, not a thing where you live? I actually had had, had, had a library near me growing up. Not, I'm not really near it anymore, but well, growing up, I had a library that did Smash tournaments every now and then. So... I could go to the library and learn some stuff by reading books, and then I could chill out and embarrass myself public publicly um, by doing very poorly at a library-run uh, Smash Bros. event. Quite, quite, quite fun. Good times. I think that was back in the day of, I want to say the Smash Bros. game I played at a tournament there was Brawl, so that proves to you, or kind of contextualizes how long ago that must have been. Am I gonna win this fight? Yeah, I couldn't beat this- I couldn't beat this girl as, uh, Jack too, so there's a chance now. I'm winning one to nothing, but, pff, well, as soon as I say that, she windmill kicks me for the win, and now we're tied. Oy vey. Game? Where would I be? without you constantly reminding me when I lose. But that's just... that's exactly what I need. Anyway... <laughs> oh boy, that was a dangerously strong punch. Or rather, kick right to the face. Uh, can I do that weird flash... Fl oh, did I accidentally pause the game while trying to mash buttons? That was weird. Darn! to do my move where I make a random spark ball appear and the only way <laughs> I've had that happen is just randomly here and there when I'm mashing these particular... There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Ugh. So I'm like mashing like triangle and square just over and over again. It's like Nina has the uh, uh, quick 
um, ability to randomly have, like, a spark of protoplasmic energy of some kind or something. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Being bad at Tekken 2 is scrambling my brain. <laughs> hey, we got some battles done, right? Those of y'all who have played this game, how many stages are there in a, in a standard arcade uh, mode? And so, basically, how far how far would you say from the end of the game I am? Or end of our arcade run? By the way, I can't believe it! I made that spark ball appear and I actually won this time! I'll actually get to see who I fight in stage four. Yoshi Mitsu! Is Yoshi Mitsu the only one who actually fights with a weapon in this game? Because that's a shame, because one of the reasons why I like Soul Calibur as my, my basically my favorite um, as my favorite one-on-one -on -one fighting series is because you use weapons. <laughs> I guess it's because it gives me a little bit more range. Or does he actually? I can hardly really tell. Is he even using his sword? If he does, he uses it sparingly. Certainly not like a sword fighter would, like I said, in, like, say, Soul Calibur or Smash Bros. or whatever. Ugh. It's really crazy that I'm doing any sort of damage. Again, I've, I, I, keep, I keep pointing this out, but, like, how am I able to, with my bare fists, hurt somebody who has a bunch of knight armor on? That's just... Okay. So he does use his sword here and there. Anyway, I think that's just going to about do it for this, let's just call it, interesting episode of Pick Up Playtest. I, uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun with this show, obviously, but there's different episodes on it where, you know, I have the experience that I have, and other ones where I'm just like, what on earth was that, and I'm like, seriously about to put that on the internet? The answer is yes. Welcome to my Tekken 2 video, everybody. Holy moly. This was this was goofy, but fun. I, I did enjoy it, despite not being a pro. It's kind of cool to experience a game for the first time. And along with showing y'all games from my past, some, some episodes are literally about experiencing a game for the first time. So I'd love to have a little bit of both here on the show. And thanks, everybody, for supporting. No matter what it is I put on this show, y'all are so freaking cool and... The support keeps coming in, all the kindness and stuff. Thanks, everybody, for taking time out of your day to support little old me and my content. It makes making these videos super worth it. It's already worth it because I love making them, but then y'all just enhance it by, like, a million. It's so cool. All right. But I say that all the time. But it's true. I can't help it. <laughs> anyway. Appreciate y'all through and through. So, uh... Until the next episode of Pick Up Playtest, and really until the next upload here on the Teatron Plays Games YouTube channel, because I also do Let's Plays and stuff, full Let's Plays. If you're interested in those, feel free to check those out as well. But either way, until the next upload, thanks everybody for watching. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.